everyone, my name is Ken. Welcome to This House. Today we're exploring the St. Louis Gateway Arch, the United States' largest monument. Arch grounds were dedicated in 1935 by President Franklin D. Roosevelt. In 1948, a contest was held to determine what would be built on the site. Architect Eero Saarinen won the design competition with his proposal for a 630 foot tall stainless steel arch. His design was realized and constructed between 1963 and 1965 as a symbolic representation of the gateway to the west. Today, it stands as America's largest national monument and the world's tallest freestanding arch. This monument is open to the public and offers a unique elevator ride to the top where you can see panoramic views of the St. Louis skyline. The purpose of creating this memorial was to honor pioneers and explorers such as Lewis and Clark, whose resulting work made Western expansion possible for the United States. The arch got its shape from a hyperbolic cosine function known as a catenary. A catenary supports only its own weight through tension. Instead of distributing gravity outwards, the shape allows for thrust to travel downward. Cernan chose to modify this shape by adding additional weight to the top of the arch so that it would appear more rounded making its true form an inverted weighted catenary. The construction of the arch was a marvel of the engineering world at the time as each 12 foot section of prefabricated stainless steel had to be hoisted into place before being filled with concrete and pre-stressed with 252 tension bars. A scissor truss had to be placed between each leg of the arch in order to keep it steady. The scissor truss spanned 530 feet. An actuarial firm had predicted that the construction of the arch would suffer up to 13 fatalities based on the fatality rate of the construction of former U.S. monuments. However, this thankfully did not happen and the arch stands as the only national monument of its time to have not suffered fatalities during its construction. The total cost of the arch was $13 million, the modern equivalent of nearly $85 million. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I'll see you next time on This House.